everyone and welcome back to It's Our Day. I hope you guys have packed up your plate full of samosas and are ready for the next part of the show. Up next, I have a very special guest for you all. I have Ononna. Ononna, welcome to the show. Hi, thank Eid you. Eid Mubarak. Eid Mubarak. Thank you. How is your Eid going? It's going amazing. Okay, so what kind of things have you been doing up until today? Dressing up mostly. <laughs> um, watching mum prepare the food. And calling everyone, wishing everyone. Oh, okay, very nice. So, did you help your mum? What kind of things has she been doing in the kitchen? Lots of samosas, pakoras, you know, all sorts of fatty Ooh, foods. My favourite. <laughs> so, you're going to be performing for us today. Uh, what's the song that you're going to be doing for us? Je Chilo Drishti Shimana. It's a modern song. Oh, okay. One of my mum's favourite Adonik <laughs> guns. So, why have you chosen to p uh, perform this song for us today? I think it's a perfect song for the atmosphere. Mm. It's nice and soothing. So, I thought, why not? make everyone enjoy that song. Okay, that's great. I cannot wait to hear your performance. Take it away. So up next, we have a very familiar face for you all. Of course, none other than Nafis. Nafis, welcome to the show. Hello, Eid Mubarak. Eid Mubarak. And how are you? How is your Eid going? How are you finding it today? Um, it's going fantastic, and I'm, find, I'm finding it like brilliant. Oh, okay. So I'm loving your jacket. It's very, Thank very you. nice. Do you want to give us a little twirl? Maybe a little catwalk model for us. Maybe a pose for us for everybody watching at home. Ooh, yes. <laughs> I am loving that pose. So, how okay. is your Eid going? What have you been up to? Well, I've been going to my friends and family's house and I ate a lot of food. Mm -hmm. And yeah. Me too, me too. <laughs> so, you're going to be performing for us. Uh, yeah. What song have you chosen for us today? It's Mamunia by Fed Duswahid. It's a pop song. Okay, very nice. So, of course, you've performed on the show many, many times. So, there's no need for me to say good luck to you. You're, of course, excellent at performing for us. Oh, I thanks. cannot wait to see your performance. Take it away. Mm. 
we have a small documentary where we remember those that are less fortunate than us. So of course during Eid we get our Eid money. Maybe we can donate some. I know, I know, we're always donating money towards them during the whole of Ramadan. We've been donating constantly. But we should never forget those that are less fortunate than us. So let's check out this documentary and let's maybe think of them for you, make a few prayers for them and maybe donate some of that money. What do you guys say, hey? So let's check out this documentary. No one can guarantee what will happen to these children in Syria, Iraq or Palestine. The children of the war-torn countries suffer the most adversity. Some of them have lost their parents, many have lost the ability to walk, and a whole generation have lost hope. They don't have any permanent homes, this temporary shelter is their home now. They don't go to school and they don't know when they will be able to pursue their dreams in education. They suffer from diseases and there is no ambulance to take them to the hospital. They don't even have a GP where they can be treated for illnesses. They continue to suffer relentlessly. Most importantly, the victim's family do not know whether or not they will survive until tomorrow. These kids are tired of war. They want to live a dignified life, just like us. There are other places in the world where there is no war, but poverty, inequality and injustices have left millions of people in dire agony. In a country like Bangladesh, there are 5 million people suffering from some form of disability. 
poverty, the lack of awareness and social taboo have put disabled people, especially children, in unbearable pain. They are often considered a burden on their families. But they still see hope. Be it a child in a war-torn Syria or a disabled child in Bangladesh, they still see hope because you, the audience, were incredibly generous throughout the month of Ramadan. You donated and they received food. You gave and they were able to be administered medication. You listened to the pleas and many can now get educated. Some can now stand and walk because of your contributions. The month of blessing has ended, but has brought the wonderful festivities of Eid. Let's not forget them today, tomorrow and for the rest of the whole year, so that the vulnerable can keep smiling in the days to come and live in the hope that somewhere around the world, they can continue to have a special place in our hearts. Unfortunately, we've reached the end of the show. I know, I was having such a great time with you all. But as always, I hope you guys enjoyed today's show. And of course, I'd like to end this show once again saying Eid Mubarak to you all. Make sure you guys don't stuff yourself with too many samosas and keep me some chicken samosas. I'll see you all next time. Bye.